Are we rolling? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hi! Just putting a little bit of perfume on, a little bit of lime vodka perfume. videos and I'm really excited and thank you so much for watching them. Now as I said this is the Mother's Day version and for Mother's Day I have made all these gorgeous pom-poms. Look at them. Aren't they fabulous? You can wear them as a hat, you can do a dance, you can do anything with them. Now what I would like to do if you would like one of these I literally have thousands of them. Well about 50. So if you would like one please Seriously, get in touch with me. Get someone from your facility to get in touch with me. I will drop this off to you. I know I'm not allowed in, but I will leave it at the door for you, okay? So I just think they're fabulous. I don't care if your facility wants 10 or 20, I will deliver them. Now, for today, like last week I showed you, I introduced you to all the animals, the critters. I thought, how about I take you on a tour? Because a lot of people say to me, where do they live? Where do they sleep? What do they eat? So I'm just going to take you through their routine for the day. I'll take you outside into our beautiful, messy garden. And I'll just show you a day in the life of our critters. So sit back, relax, and um, come and talk with me. Darlings, this is where the doves live. I call it the dove mansion because it's pretty cool. Look at this. They've all got their own room. Oh, here they are. Hi, babies. <laughs> so all their little houses are lined with beautiful sawdust, which smells absolutely beautiful. Their houses, the sawdust is put in fresh every week. I bleach their houses. Really fussy that they have immaculate accommodation. So they have fresh cold water every single day. They have grit, which they love, which aids in their digestion. And they eat a lot of uh, pigeon seed. So each one has their own quarters. And you just saw Archie before, and his wife is sitting on an egg. So 
the next video I do all going well I'll be able to introduce you to the baby um, down the bottom I've got my older birds down in there I've got one that's 10 years old he's a little bit sore in the legs like me so um, he doesn't want to jump far so we have his little house on the bottom so it's easy for him to get in and out I'll just see if he's there there he is he's just sitting in there there's Dolly Bird so now I think you've met the rest of them here we go this gorgeous one he's joining the show this week and oh they're all up there to have a bath and then this beautiful boy he's engaged <laughs> he's engaged to one of my young ones I've just got to wait till she's about two months older before I introduce them I'm going to throw him up and he'll fly up high here you go there he goes so they never fly away. They just stay here all day. They have a bath up there in the sun. They'll come down and have their lunch. They'll have a siesta, they eat. These two are having a fight at the moment. Here she comes, here comes Milo. They're married now, Milo's the one. He's married, that's his wife, Mrs. Milo. And he's got two girlfriends and a brick. So each morning he goes and visits the two girlfriends and he visits the brick. I'll leave that for you to work out. Uh, next I'll take you over and show you where the chookies live. So this is our little chicken mansion, two storey. Front opens up which is fantastic. Let's all the sun in, they can just sit there and have a look. And my little pink one has just, actually there's two eggs in here. Two eggs, one warm, one cold. So we're gonna have some zucchini bake for dinner tonight. Hopefully I've got another four eggs in the fridge. So this is the chicken mansion and um, I'm missing a chicken because she's hiding behind the back. But they roam around here all day. They'll have a dirt bath, they'll sit in the sun, they'll sleep. They really do have a lovely life. No stress, just pottering around, digging for worms. Life's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour of our garden. It's pretty cute and I love it. And this is where I spend most of my time when I'm not entertaining you doing shows. So when I finish a show, I come home, rip off the good clothes, put on the old clothes and uh, get stuck into it and I love it. It's just, it's just my life and what I do and I just love all my babies. So darlings, have a fabulous, fabulous Mother's Day. And before I go, there's one little face that I have not introduced you to. This is Poppy. Hi, say hi. A lot of you would have seen Poppy when she was a little baby. We introduced her to the show when she was about eight weeks old. Um, when I bought her, they told me that she was a little miniature bunny. She was this big. And they said, she won't get any bigger. <gasps> oh, look at the little monkey now. Look at those feet, they are huge. And she's going on for nine months old. And we absolutely love her. And I'm sure most of you have given her a cuddle. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll have another video for you in two weeks. And as I say, have a fabulous Mother's Day. And if you want one of these darlings, just yell. It'll be delivered to your door. Bye, see you around like a donut. Just like our business at Southern Cross Funerals is family owned, it's great to have Chrissy on our team as part of our family. Chrissy brings so much joy to so many people. It's great to see what she does and the smiles that she brings to people's faces every day with her shows and walkabouts. We started working with Chrissy over 12 months ago and it's been one of the best decisions we have made at Southern Cross Funerals. Just seeing the amount of joy and happiness that her and her feathered friends bring to residents and facilities alike makes it all well worth it. She'll be back soon, no doubt, bringing joy and happiness and smiles wherever she walks. Who can forget that pink hair.